Hello Home Fragrance fans. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Bobby Jo and I'm an independent Scentsy con consultant. So today we are talking about the 10 brand new new releases that will be coming out on September 1st uh, and they are the fall winter 2024 brand new releases. So these are new Never, I have never smelt these before. These are my cold sniff reviews. They literally, I got home from vacation. That is why you guys haven't seen me in a bit. I have been on vacation. I just got home. I literally opened up the box, more like teared it up. Um, and, and this is why I'm looking like this. I have so many to go through. I have the harvest. I have the new releases. I have the um, August with Fox. I, what else came in? Oh, September warmer and scent of the month. I will be having, I got videos for you guys for a bit. Okay, so I'm sorry about the delay, but again, these will be available September 1st in the brand new fall winter 2024 catalog. Um, so I have not smelled these yet. Again, cold sniffs. These are my reviews. No one else's. I haven't even watched anybody else's reviews. I didn't want to spoil it for myself or what I honestly think. And I am very honest in what I think of these scents. Okay. Uh, and of course, this is my sniffer. You might sit there. I might hate a scent and you might love it or vice versa. Okay. So no particular order. I'm just going to grab and go. All right. So the first one is gingerbread pecan waffles gingerbread pecan waffles is a brown wax and what sensi says it's in the bakery section savor all day breakfast with warm and fluffy gingerbread waffles topped with molasses and roasted pecan oh yes this is this is nice but it has an undertone i'm not sure of I don't want to tell you about my undertone of what I'm getting. Um, I like it, but there's something under here that's like a sour smell, and I don't know what that is. Okay, I smell gingerbread. I don't really smell a lot of molasses. I smell more syrup than molasses. Because that might be the waffles. Because when I think of waffles, I think of syrup, right? I don't mind this one. It is not overly strong. I would say it's like a five or a six out of 10. It's not overly strong, but I think it will age well and then we'll get stronger with age. I'm excited to warm these. I'm, I like this one. I'm just not sure completely because there's a little bit of a sour note underneath that's hitting my nose a little bit wrong. Okay. The next one is called leaves and lavender and it is in the spice section. And it is soothing lavender and a hint of clove wrapped up in fall leaves invite you to relax. So leaves and lavender. Mmm. You know what this one smells like? It hit me right away. It's one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works. I hardly don't. Yeah, I hardly never warm candles anymore. But this is a scent that's been around forever with Bath and Body Works. And it is called leaves and it comes out in so uh when does it come out it, like this time of year for fall that's kind of what it smells like i smell like a cider so that's the clove i smell a cider and then i sm i fall i smell this woodsy kind of note so do i smell a lot of lavender i don't but it does kind of remind me of leaves from Bath and Body Works. Thumbs up on that one. Oh, and I would say about a 7 out of 10. Okay, next one. Alpine Escape. Alpine Escape. I like the little cottage with the trees on it. So it is a green wax. And it is in the wood section. Feel a rush of minty air among spruce and evergreen trees on a scenic mountain getaway. Oh, yes, that's nice. This smells like uh, pine trees and mint. Yes. <laughs> there are so many great scents. Um, I do like this one, though. I do like this one a lot. Do I say that I like it better than very snowy spruce? It might be the little bit of a touch of mint in here that just makes it a little extra special. 
I do like this one. That was that's Alpine Escape. I say this one is a six or a seven out of ten in regards to strength. We'll see on warm. I'm excited to warm these. Okay, next one, Pistachio Woods. Pistachio Woods, another green wax. It is delicate pistachio and buttery almond on a bed of cedar wood. Again, in the wood section. All right, I love pistachio. It's one of my favorite nuts. And I love almonds and I love cedar wood. So we'll see. Oh, I can definitely smell the pistachio. The pistachio just has a different smell to it and I love that smell. Oh yeah, oh, you can definitely smell the almond too. On the bottom, I, I don't smell a lot of cedar wood. I smell more a, like, and it's got a little bit of a sweet smell to it, but I find that uh, pistachio and almond, when it comes in wax, well, especially the almond, when it comes in wax, it kind of has a sweet smell to it. Just a little bit. Just don't think it's going to be like bakery because it's not. It's in the woods. But I do smell, uh, I, I can smell that hint of like pistachio on the top. On the bottom, I get more almond. Cedar wood, I don't know if I smell that. I do like this one a lot. That's a good one. I do like it. Well, I like it. Maybe not a lot, but I like it. We'll see on warm. It's not overly strong. I'm going to give it a 6 or 7 out of 10. Okay, the next one. White peach and cranberry. Ooh. So white peach and cranberry is in the fruity section. And it is a juicy bite of fresh picked white peach with a, tar with a tart touch of cranberry. I love cranberry. I love peaches. Oh. You can smell the peach. I don't know if I smell the cranberry. I smell, I smell more white peaches in here. I don't smell a lot of cranberry. I smell a little bit of a tartness, which is probably the cranberry. I smell more white peach. This is what I smell. I smell peaches in this one. It's good. It's good. I don't mind this one. Uh, it's, 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 I think it's going to warm light. So I'm going to give it like a five out of 10, uh, on strength. It's not overly strong, but I do like it. Might put this one in the bedroom just to see how it warms. That's probably going to be one of my first ones to warm is in the bedroom. Cause yeah. Okay. The next one is called Hay Rides. So hay rides kind of looks like straw, the color of straw. <laughs> okay. Um, climb aboard with fresh hay and cedar wood and take a ride through crisp apple orchards in this odd ode to a joy, joyful autumn tradition. So it is in the fresh category. I like this one. I wasn't sure. It reminds me of something from last year. Oh my gosh, what does that remind me of? I enjoyed a scent from last year that this reminded me of. Or no. Sorry. Okay. It reminds me of Golden Garland. I also got a bar of Golden Garden gar Garland before it left. <laughs> It was in the clearance section and, and now it no longer is. Yeah, it kind of smells like Golden Garland. I like it. That's why I ordered more Golden Garland because I really like it. Okay, it smells like Golden Garland. So if you guys are sad that Golden gar Garland has left, hay Hayride smells like it and kind of looks like it. Like the color of it too. So this is Golden Garland and this is Hay Rides. Oh yeah, if you, yeah. Okay, it, it smells like Golden Garland from last year, which I love. So I'm kind of glad that they, <laughs> they made a different one, but it's called Hay Rides now. So um, it's fresh hay, cedar wood, crisp apple. 
I don't know. This one had like trees and stuff, but I don't know. It, it smells the same to me. I smell a little bit of that crisp apple. I do just a tiny bit. And I do smell the cedar wood. Does it smell like fresh hay? Mm, not really. Um, I'm a farm girl from Saskatchewan. So, um, fresh hay has a different smell to it, but I do like this one. I do like this one. Okay. Next balsam spice, balsam spice, another tree scent, dark green compared to the, uh, what was it? Alpine escape, which was a lighter green. So this one's dark. Okay, so alpine, no, balsam spice, captivating cinnamon adds sweet spice to charred cedar and balsam. It is in the wood section. Okay, this one smells like very snowy spruce um, mixed with cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. Very snowy spruce uh, with cinnamon. Personally, um, I prefer to take very snowy spruce and add a cube of, um, uh, uh, why can't I think of it? Clo uh, cinnamon and cloves. Um, but in regards to either tree scent, I prefer Alpine Escape. Um, it's that mint in that, that, that's evergreeny spruce smell. It's just a fresh, nice tree scent. This one smells like very snowy spruce and, and, um, mixing it with like clove and cinnamon, um, or Christmas cottage. Yeah, it's good. It's good. But yeah, we'll see on more. And the next one is vanilla amber. So vanilla amber is rich vanilla cream and golden amber infused with sweet rum or a, a, hmm, sweet rum or a piece of pastry perfection. It is in the bakery section. So we've got golden or vanilla cream, golden amber, and sweet rum. Hmm. Hmm. It's better on the bottom. Kind of smells like, I don't know. I still like vanilla bean buttercream better, to be honest. Um, you can smell a little bit of the amber, a tiny bit of the rum, and then you can smell vanilla. I don't know. I'm not like, wow, about this one. This one's just okay for me. Um, again, I just prefer vanilla bean buttercream because nothing can beat vanilla bean buttercream when you were looking for a vanilla smell. Um, it's okay. Um, it's not overly strong, like a five out of 10, maybe a six. Cause that rum, you can smell that rum and that amber in there. So it's hitting my nose a little bit different. Okay. Next one, brown butter pumpkin, brown butter pumpkin. This one scares me. Why? Because sometimes these smells can hit my nose wrong and smell like they're burnt. Okay. Whip up a batch of seasonal spice, mixing melted butter and brown sugar with pumpkin for a tempting treat. And it is in the wood section. So yeah, not in the woods, in the spice section. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, sometimes brown sugar can't, when it's warming, can hit me like it's, uh, burning. Um, hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. it's okay. It's, I don't know. It's not overly strong. It's like maybe a five or six out of 10. It, it smells like brown sugar, uh, melt, uh, yeah, brown sugar, pumpkin and butter. It kind of has a little bit of a nutty smell to it. Like just a tiny bit of a nutty smell. It's okay. It's not like, wow. Um, mm, I'll probably not, I, I don't know. Um, I have to warm it first, but I'm guessing knowing me, this will be like the first and last bar. <laughs> so it won't be going into my club. 
Okay, so I think this is the last one out of the 10. And it is called Cherry Chestnut. And I love me a good cherry scent. So I'm excited about this one. It is in the bakery section. It is warm black cherry topped with roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla as a sweet and savory delight. Hmm. Okay, I was really excited about this. I'm trying to get it out. Ah, uh, no. It's kind of boring. I don't smell a lot in this bar. I don't know if it's just because I s smell nine other bars, but I'm not overly like, wow, on this bar. Yeah. Nope. I, I, do, do I smell black cherry? A little bit. I smell, uh, the, maybe it's the, I don't know. It could be the, the chestnuts, the roasted chest, chestnuts that is like taking over on this bar that's hitting my nose and just being pow. But I was hoping more of a black cherry smell and I really don't smell a lot of that. Tell me what you guys think because I am not sure about this one. Um, other consultants out there who may have gotten these early. I don't smell a lot of whipped vanilla. I smell, and sometimes this is what happens uh, with certain waxes. It, it smells like an old, like it's an old wax smell. That's what I'm getting. So I'm not overly impressed with that one. Okay. So I am going to go and rate these on cold. Okay. So let's see. Um, and number one, I am giving to Leaves and Lavender. That is my number one pick. Um, on cold, I think this one smells like leaves from Bath and Body Works, and I love that smell. So if it smells like that, it is going straight into my club. That is where we're going and staying forever. Leaves and Lavender is number one. Number two, I am giving to... I'm giving to pistachio woods. I do like this smell. I, I do like almond. You can smell the almond. You can smell the pistachios. It's got this little bit of a sweet smell, even though it is in the woods section. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to smell through the thing. So that is my number two pick. Number three is hay rides. It smells like golden garland, and I was very sad it did not come back, but this one is a dupe for gold, golden garland, is hay rides. Okay, so number four is going to be Alpine Escape. I really like this, the spruce smell mixed with the mint. It smells divine. Yes, I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay, number five is going to... I'm gonna... This one was hard. I'm giving it to white peach and cranberry. So number five is white peach and cranberry. Number six is balsam spice. Number uh, seven is gingerbread pecan waffles. If this, if there's a smell in here that it doesn't come out, I think this one's going to jump up in line. So that's number seven. I probably would make this probably maybe before the white peach and cranberry on cold, but I don't know. Okay. So that was seven. Number eight is going to vanilla amber. Number nine is going to brown butter pumpkin. And number 10, which is surprising for me, is cherry chestnut. Okay, you guys, those are my cold snaps for the brand new releases. Thank you for joining me. If you guys like this kind of content and you wanna see more videos that are coming, the Harvest Collection, my whiff box, the uh, warmer incentive of the month for September. Please hit the like and subscribe below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.